Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tony and this is TC's Outdoors. Uh, today, we're in the garage, again. The weather has been not so great around here uh, lately and we've been busy, so I haven't really posted much either. So we've had kind of a lot going on around here. But uh, I wanna take the opportunity today and kind of tell you what my big idea is. So uh, I wanna expand the business. Um, I'm thinking to kind of uh, maybe work away into cottages and Airbnb as like a delivery service, like a, kind of the Ohio wood burner, you know, a, a firewood delivery plan of sorts. You can charge a little more for it. And I'm really not far. I'm, I've got about a six mile drive maybe um, to the local, it's like a tourist destination. Um, it's Sodas Bay. If you're not familiar with the area, it's loaded with cottages. There's people that come from all over the place and stay in their cottages on the weekends. And there's Airbnbs in the area. And that's kind of my target market, I think. So, you know, I, I want the people that work all week and they just want to fly down to their cottage. They don't want to have to stop and get firewood or stop and get anything. You know, I would uh, offer the rack full for the first time and it's going to be three by three. So there's going to be, a, you know, it's uh, just about a quarter face cord. And that's a pretty good amount of fire. So um, I think the first time is going to be $100 or maybe 80. I'm not really 100% on the prices just yet. And then uh, they can call or text me and I'll come and refill the firewood up for um, 60 bucks, 60 to 80. I'm not sure. Again, the pricing is kind of up in the air, but I'm thinking, I think that there might be a a demand for this you know I'm not really sure nobody in my area offers anything like this and I kind of want to be the first one to crack it open if I can so I know that there is plenty of people out there that would are willing to pay for the convenience and um, I'm kind of one of them when I'm hitting a vacation I don't really I'm not looking to save every nickel and dime I really just want to get there and enjoy my time so I'm thinking that either Airbnb owners it, they can offer you know that'll be part of their packages they've always have a stocked firewood and cottage owners you know who, what better would it be to just get to your cottage and unwind and just light a fire instead of having to stop here and get firewood or do whatever it is that you got to do before you know so if I can kind of work my way into that market that's the plan so uh, but this pile of two by fours behind me I've been uh, painting I painted up last night I, I, I put the rack all together and kind of just checked it out the first one um, I've got about 30 bucks invested into this. Uh, I found a spot where I can source the brackets cheaper, um, but it's free shipping and you have to, free shipping over 150 bucks. And I didn't want to order 10 of them if there's no demand for it. So I'll get the first one together. If I've got to eat that $30, no big deal if nobody buys it. But uh, I think, you know, as I do this, I'm probably going to be looking for a deposit just so that I'm not on the hook for, you know, if I get 10 orders and then everybody backs out at the last minute and I'm not, and then I've got $300 tied up in these racks that I'll never need. So that's the plan. Uh, two by fours, I think I'm going to go to a local sawmill and try to source some rough cut because let me get the bracket. These are the brackets I found. Uh, I got these ones on Amazon. I can throw a link in the description if you're interested, but the openings are like a true two by four. And so, you know, it's two, two inches this way and four inches that way. So um, like a Lowe's two by four, which is an inch and a half by three and a half, doesn't really fill it very well. And it leaves some wiggle room and it's kind of a pain to screw it in. And um, I think it would be a much nicer finished product if it was a rough cut lumber. So if I go this direction, there is a local sawmill not too far from me and I'm gonna reach out to him and see if we can work out a deal where they're not you know, super expensive, but they'll be a little bit more, not terrible. Either way, that's the plan. So why don't we go throw you on time lapse, we'll get this thing together and we'll talk about some other stuff that's going on around here. So here we go. Alright guys, so there's the rack uh, right there and I think having the painted 2x4s and the black uh, brackets really makes like a really nice professional looking rack. Uh, if I wouldn't be ashamed to have that sitting on my patio or near my fire pit, I think it looks really nice and that's kind of the market that I'm after. I want you know people to think that I'm selling a quality product, premium uh, bundle firewood and or camp firewood. Uh, homeowner rack delivery so I can't take credit for this idea I uh, it was 
Nebraska Woodster does like a homeowner's rack that he sells and he and I mean that's more for heating but that kind of where the idea kind of got started for me and then after watching Joe at Ohio Woodburner that guy if you're interested in starting a firewood business he is the guy to watch because he's got it figured out in my opinion um, he's got a lot of great ideas and he does everything he can to capitalize on every dollar you can make on firewood so um, he does a great job over there so go check him out if you haven't but either way you know that's my I'm kind of taken into this delivery thing where I'm going to uh, cater to the cottage market you know I'm not these guys aren't heating their homes so they're looking for the convenience the ambiance and they want it right now they don't want to have to go looking for it that's what I'm hoping is the market that I'm gonna break into so uh, again quarter face cord if I sold that for between sixty to eighty dollars that's a pretty good um, profit on a face cord of wood so uh, around me for heating purposes a face cord selling for about 90 bucks right now so if I sold even at 60 that's $240 a face cord you know that's um, that's almost triple not quite but it's pretty good um, I'd be happy with that so either way over that shoulder if you see that is TC's Outdoors firewood bundle stand number two uh, I've been working on that. That one's going to go down to my brother's house. So we can take a quick peek at that if you'd like and uh, I can kind of talk you through it. Uh, it's all pallets, um, which I'm sure that you've noticed. I got all those pallets from a local marina last fall and they had some really big stuff. I, they had some 2x6s that were like a shipping crate also. So that's where like this 2x6 came from. And then also down here, I've got these wheels mounted. Um, so those wheels, I know that I've got the wheeled bundle cart thing wrapped up here, but those wheels were my first attempt at uh, moving our chicken coop a couple, two, three years ago when we did that. So my wife was really dead set on keeping our chicken coop when we moved. And uh, that was how the wagon that my other bundle stands on, now that's how that came around. So if you haven't seen that video, I got a little footage of us dragging the chicken coop up the road with the four wheeler. So pretty interesting process, but either way, those wheels, uh, I got them on Amazon, I'll throw a link in the description if you're interested uh, they're pretty they're they were not good for the chicken coop but they'll definitely support the weight of this I think each wheel is like 300 pounds or something like that then my chicken coop weighed like I don't know 2,500 or more it was as soon as I tried to move it they broke off it was a disaster <laughs> but unfortunately I didn't have a channel back then because you guys would have enjoyed all the failures that I've gone through to get to this point but um, so yeah that's the that's the bundle stand uh, the tin that's on the roof that's all left over from when they did the house. So uh, I kept all the scraps, all the cutoffs from when they did the roofing. And actually for the siding too, I've got a bunch of that left too. Um, so, you know, I, I really I've got nothing into this. This is, I can tell you that I am officially, I'm either, I've become of age, I don't know how to put it, or I'm a hoarder, one or the other, because I didn't have to go anywhere for anything. I had the pallets, I had the tin, I had all the fasteners, I had the legs, I had the wheels sitting on the shelf. I think that, uh, I don't know. I guess that means I'm an adult now. I'm not sure how that works, but I don't really. It's, I've never built anything where I didn't have to go and get at least one or two trips to the hardware store to get something. So that is the first. Um, I'm going to do some painting on it. I've got to. Uh, I've got some custom signs coming. They're not here yet. If they were, I would love to be able to show you. I'll do an update later on. But the signs will go on. I got one on each end. I really want this thing to stand out um, where it's going to be situated at my brother's. It's right next to a campground, but they're also building a farm market across the road. So there's going to be a ton of traffic. I really, I'm optimistic on how well this stand's going to perform. Um, I've got all my labeling in order. So in New York State, you have to declare the the origin of the wood, and you're not allowed to transport it 50 miles from where it was cut unless it's kiln dried. And obviously, I don't have a kiln, so uh, I need to make sure that all my all of my ducks are in a row. That way, if the DEC or anybody stops by my brother's stand, I don't want him getting in trouble for what the, my little bundle operation. So um, I've got my labeling all set, and I'll show you that here once I get rolling. Oh yeah, the bundler too. So dang it, I forgot the guy's name. Hold on one second. I gotta look it up because I wanna give him credit because I didn't, uh, Greg Prince. Greg Prince, you're the man because this idea, cutting these off at an angle, what a game changer. Um, 
Now I can get down in there and that was my last upgrade. After the last video I made a bundle and Greg recommended that I cut those off at an angle so now they won't be digging into my armpit when I'm making the bundles. That is like, and I sanded them nice and smooth so they're, it's super comfortable. And then lastly, I added uh, just a, it's a, well it's like a bike hook that you put in the ceiling that I straightened out just to set the wrap on because if you've watched me make bundles you'll know pretty quick that I'm one of those guys that puts a tool in his back pocket and looks for it for 45 minutes. Uh, I set the wrap down in a different spot every single time, never fails, and then I spend five minutes looking for it when I need it the next time. So that should hopefully speed up my bundling process quite a bit, hopefully. But either way, so enough rambling for today, guys. This is uh, TC's Outdoors, Indoors. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're into my content, you're into firewood, you're into firewood businesses and watching me make this thing, make a run at hopefully turning a, a hobby firewood business into maybe a career, who knows. But uh, either way, come back, I'd appreciate it. And if nothing else, have a great day. We'll talk to you later, see ya.